risking their lives to call for freedom. The people of Homs attempt to take to the streets. Gunfire is heard, pinned back to this narrow alleyway. The people demand to topple the regime. Hammer, the people demand the same. Other towns in Homs, Syrians turn up in the thousands to demand change. And in Dara, arguably the birthplace of this uprising, residents there are unfazed in their attempt to rid themselves of President Bashar al-Assad's government. All across Syria, thousands have taken to the streets, calling for the removal of the president. Friday's protests were named after the popular Alawi leader Saleh al-Ali, who led the Syrian revolution against the French over a century ago. Syria's pro-democracy activists are sparing no subtleties in their fight against the government. It seems the more the government cracks down, the bolder those calling for freedom become. In the past few days alone, three mid-ranking officers have defected from the Syrian army, refusing to take part in the crackdown against their own people. We took an oath to protect the Syrian Arab Republic, land and people. However, what's happening in reality is the complete opposite. Now we've taken our weapons and directed them at the hearts of the defenseless children of Syria. This is why I've defected. The government insists it's going after what it calls armed gangs bent on terrorizing the people. But it is the government security forces whom local residents say they are most afraid of. Syrians who refused to flee from the country when Israel invaded now escape in their thousands in fear of the people who are meant to protect them. But the refugees in Turkey are arguably the lucky ones. While the conditions in a tent aren't ideal, at least they no longer fear for their lives. And if defections within the Syrian army gain momentum, the balance of power in the struggle for freedom could very quickly tip. Jamal al-Shayyal, Al-Jazeera.